Hello everyone and welcome to another video where today I wanted to show you how you can identify a common and troublesome invasive plant as well as how you can remove it with nothing more than your bare hands and stuff you can easily find in the wilderness. This is a burning bush plant, probably one to two years old and as you can see it is very characteristic with the wings on the side of the stem. Now in the early spring once the buds have finally started to sprout out is the perfect time to both properly identify this plant and to remove it. The first and most prominent identifying characteristic is the green stem and brown wings. The second identifying characteristic is the leaves. Now it's a bit early for this but I can still identify the plant rather well because all I need to notice is that they're coming in together. One exactly opposite the other. And when they're in a set of two like that, that means it's definitely burning bush. When these plants are small enough, you can usually just rip them out. That's the best because it tears out the roots. And then you can just toss them on something like a log or a rock. Even if you just toss them over the leaf litter, chances are they won't survive. If their roots are too developed for that, one thing you can do is something that is usually sufficient for most plants. Some plants are resistant to this, but it's not common. What you can do is bend them down to about a 90 degree angle, as much as you can, and push. As you can see, it shears off. But in the case of invasive species, oftentimes it's the adult plants that are the problem. They're the ones spreading all the seeds. And looking at this, I don't think I'm going to be able to bend this 90 degrees even if I tried, let alone have the strength to snap it by pushing. So what should you do if you're encountering something like this? Well, it's rather simple actually. All you need is a mildly jagged rock and you just go around and scrape in a circle around the tree. What you're essentially doing when you do this is severing the tree's cambium layer which is the inner bark. And in most plants, once they lose that in a complete ring around, they actually cannot transport nutrients up the plant. So if you sever that in a complete ring, the upper portion of the plant should die. You probably will still have the bottom portion survive, but at this point in the year, it might even not. Those roots have stored energy, but it's not infinite. And if you cut it off at the right time, it might not have enough to start back up. Well, that's all for this episode. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. See ya.